Factory output in Singapore is at the highest in nearly three years, with July also marking 13 straight months of growth. It comes as manufacturing firms pick up the pace to meet orders and export demand from sectors like healthcare as well as electronics. Chua Tian reports. Factories in Singapore are still firing on all cylinders. For the most part, analysts say those making COVID-19 test kits saw orders go up in July as countries continue to fight the Delta variant. The Purchasing Managers Index inched up 0.2 point to 51.0, the highest reading since nearly three years ago. Anything above 50 means an expansion. Other hard-hit sectors are also preparing for a return of more travel around the world. Looking at the recent business expectation survey, actually there seems to be some light at the end of the tunnel for also the aerospace and also the land transport industries because they are anticipating higher repair orders for aircraft and also higher auto production uh, parts demand. The electronics PMI also expanded for the 12th straight month, coming in at 50.8, 0.2 point higher than June. The backlog of orders is still growing, but at a slower rate this time. It comes as foundries rush to meet the short supply of semiconductor chips. The accelerated digitalization, which is brought about by the pandemic, has actually increased uh, the demand for electronics goods, uh, everyday electronics goods such as uh, even uh, PCs and uh, even your phones as well. Uh, we do see that the demand uh, will hold up in the coming months uh, due to an increase in demand, the continued pace, uh, continued uh, acceleration of digitalization um, due to the pandemic. Overall, analysts expect manufacturing activity to expand for a couple more months, but it really depends on what happens around the world. We are starting to see signs of, uh, you know, in China, for instance, the manufacturing PMI and the testing PMI starting to show signs of a little bit of fatigue creeping in. So some of it could be due to, of course, uh, cost pressures because commodity and raw material uh, prices have been going up. But I think in addition to that, some of the external demand story in some of the major partners like the US and the Eurozone also probably have plateaued. Ms. Ling expects the full-year manufacturing growth to exceed 10% year-on-year.